Uh, these whoops here aren't uh, tractor made, they're more made by the motorcycle, you know, more uh, naturally made. Um, with these, you know, you kind of want to uh, keep your front wheel up because each time you get your front wheel in, you, you have the suspension will go down, you'll catch air, you'll, you know, lose a forward momentum. So for me, I like to come through these and get my back wheel in every hole. Every hole I get in, I try to work it, kind of row it like you're rowing a boat so you can keep the back wheel in each hole like this instead of hitting off the top and losing that momentum or getting your front end like this so you're bouncing. When you're going through, it's a combination of, you know, pulling up on the bars and pushing down with your peg. I pull back enough just to have the front wheel up. You gotta feel it too. You gotta feel that your back wheel is going in every hole and your front wheel is going over the top of the jump. You know, you don't wanna do a giant wheelie, but just enough to get the front wheel over and keep the back wheel into the hole. So anytime on a bike you can wheelie stuff, you'll go faster. Same works with sand, hard pack, you know, loamy conditions. Anytime you have, you know, rough section, whoop section like that, that is not like a stadium section. Uh, you want to kind of manual it as if you watch the BMX riders, how they manual stuff. Same thing on a motorcycle, but you got the power to be able to keep your front wheel up. You play with the throttle a little bit, but uh, in other times you just leave it pinned. You got to kind of be one with the motorcycle. You know, it's hard to say that in this, in this section you do this, this scenario you do this. Every time's different, every lap's different. You know, so you could go through the same section 30 times and 15 of them will probably be a little bit different.